Victini Gamer here, and well, Siege Rain is out. So yeah, but I am not gonna be summoning for Siege Rain. You wanna know why? Well, watch the summoning video to find out. But anyways, uh, today we're going to be talking about the Siege Rain test run. I did test out Siege Rain before, so uh, you'll see that as you see here, I already did try her out. I will say this, Siege Rain, uh my first opinion on her is that, oh, she's really good. But now, the more that I test her out, the more I realize that Sejuin kinda is okay at best. Yeah, she's she's pretty okay. And you'll, you'll see what I mean once we uh, talk about her and play as her. So, let's just play as her. So, Sejuin is pretty interesting, I would say. Her, her kit and her gameplay is pretty interesting. So what you do is basically you hold E, and then you do E attacks. Um, that basically buffs your elemental skill, your off-field elemental skills, and then you do big damage. That's basically it. Um, yeah, that's literally Siege Wing gameplay. So um, it's really nothing that special. Um, she also does drop water source droplets, which you will need to basically activate her, uh, her passives for her E. Which is pretty good. But as you see there, look at how long that bounces the um, her E. That is really, really, really bad. Because there's some characters in the game that have better Hydro application. Like, for instance, Xing Chou right here. Where you can just do normal attacks. For Siege Wind, you have to press E. And you have to wait for it to bounce. Just like that. Yeah, this is really, really bad for Hydro application. So if you want to run another... If you want to run a good Hydro Applicator, it can't be Siege Wing. It, it just can't be Siege Wing. It has to be another character other than Siege Wing. So yeah. Okay, we're going to be using her E again. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three. By the way, it bounces five times. Four, five. There you go. And you get a nine second cooldown after those nine bounces, which is really, really bad too. <laughs> so yeah. Um, overall, Siege Wing is just pretty okay. I mean, it's just the combined cooldown of her E with um, really like awkward um, usage of her kit. Same with her burst too. Her burst is just a big AOE burst. Um, at least for some other characters with like big bursts like that, at least Xing Cho gives you um, damage reduction. For um, Yelan, it's literally Xing Cho burst. So yeah, um, for Farina, her burst buffs, but for Seedrine, it's just. It's just really weird. Yeah. Um, overall, Siege Rain's just pretty okay at best. So, yeah. Um, well, at least we could see her animation. So, you already saw the uh, burst. It's just a big syringe. Um, we could do her normals right here. So, let's do one, two, three. Yep, she only has three normals. Um, they are pretty decent, I guess. So, yeah, you can just do that. She also has a charge um, attack mechanic where she shoots hearts if you hold on to the um, charge attack, which is pretty cool. You can fire afterwards, of course. Her E, there are two versions. You could tap, which does a small bubble right here. It also drops two water source droplets that basically heal you, which is pretty nice. But there we go. After the E ends, you heal yourself, which is pretty nice. And, or... You can, um, well, we gotta wait for the cooldown. You can hold E, throw it, and then it does, uh, big damage. It also, um, increases the healing as well, and it gets smaller afterwards. So yeah, but at C0, Sejuin basically just, um, does five consecutive hits on her E, and that's basically it. So yeah. Um, we can talk about Sejuin's kit now, since we already did, um, see her animations in action. So yeah. Well, anyways, here is Cedri's kit on um, Hoyo versus End. So she does have 58,000 HP uh, and 135 ER. So I will say this. If you want to have the maximum amount of buffs, you want to run her with 65,000 HP. Because for this passive, well, I'm going to go on ahead because um, everything connects back to her kit. So yeah, well... Um, you want 65,000 HP because you want to get the maximum of 2,800 attack for your off-field party members. Yes, I mean off-field party members that use elemental skills. So that means characters like Nahida, Farina, Fischl, Yaimiko, uh, 
other characters too, like Yao Yao. Basically, those characters who use elemental skills off-field um, are pretty good with Siege Wing. So that is basically going to um, be really good, especially Farina, because Farina is going to be Siege Wing's or Siege Wing best partner is Farina because um, it boosts the damage of her elemental skill and Farina is probably one of the best sub DPS's in the entire game so yeah it is really good also um, you want to give her a lot of ER um, unlike Koyo here who only gives her 135 because if you really want to hyper focus on her burst and you want her to be a burst DPS you need to give her a lot of ER because her energy cost is 70. So that means you want to run her with 180% ER. If you want to be even more comfortable, then you can just run 200% ER. So yeah, um, that is basically your stat synopsis. As for her weapon, we have Silver Shower Heartstrings. Of course, this is her best weapon, but you can run other four-star weapons that have HP percent. There are um, bows out there that do have HP percent as a main stat. Um, you can also add Stringless as well if you really want to um, boost her elemental skill damage. Or you can run Favonius Warbow if you don't mind um, having a uh, crit rate build on her because of the Warbow passive. So yeah, there's really a lot of ways to um, give her um, the bow she needs. She doesn't need Silver Shower Heartstrings. As for artifact set, we have two piece um, attack or two piece HP, my bad, and two piece HP, Tenacity of the Millilith, and Voru Kasha's Glow. So this is her best budget set, of course, because HP HP. Um, her best set in general is Songs, because her whole kit buffs around elemental skill damage, and Songs boosts damage. So basically, it combos well with each other. So you want to run Songs. If you don't mind Siege Wing being a sub DPS, then you can run Oceans. That is also her best set for sub DPS Siege Wing, um, especially with her E and Q. You can just run that. If you want to run a pure healer uh, Siege Wing, you can run Maidens. That's also a really good set too. But I would recommend, strongly recommend Songs. Songs is her best uh, artifact set. And we'll go over her talents first before we go on to her constellations, because her constellations aren't really. Um, well, they tie into her talents, so we want to talk about her talents first before we talk about constellations. So yeah. Well, anyways, here are her talents. This is basically her with C0 in mind. So her normal attack is not really that special. Again, you're not going to be using your normals or your charge attack, especially um, if you're specifically using it for the uh, heart bubble. You're not going to be using that because Siege Wing is going to be an off-field um, support. So yeah. As for E, we already talked about this. It is a hydro damage bubble that does um, damage based off her max HP and also restores party members based on her max HP. Um, she also has five consecutive bounces, um, which is pretty nice. And also if you hold her E, it basically increases the damage by 5% and the healing by 5% as well. And also she drops two water source droplets, which basically um, is 10% of her bond of life. Um, and also, when you um, clear Bond of Life, you restore HP and also get elemental energy back to fuel your burst. So this is pretty okay, I guess. The only problem is that her Hydro application on E sucks, so you can't run her solo. Um, if, especially if you want Siege Wing to be your Hydro driver, you can't do that because her E just sucks at Hydro application. So you want to run other Hydro drivers if you are going to be running Siege Wing on the team, like Farina. Xingqiu, Yelan, basically anyone who can just fill the Hydro application role better than her, you want to run those characters because she can't do it herself. She's she's kind of bad at it. So yeah. Um, the HP is pretty nice. She is a good healer, by the way. Um, she won't uh, slack off on that. It's just that if you want to run her as a sub, you can't. You, you just can't because her kit just does not allow her to be a sub. She, she is a great healer though. I will say that again. Her burst is just a big AoE burst, basically um, it does AoE hydro damage based off her max HP. She also absorbs source water droplets around her if you do use her, use her Q. The only use of this application of her absorbing water source droplets is for her second passive talent, which basically heals you by up to 30% of your um, HP healing. So yeah, um, this is really only worth it for this. So it's not really that great. You only use this for big damage burst. That's basically it. 
And as for her talents, this is her main bread and butter. This vast of talent right here. Basically, you get to increase your hydro damage by um, eight percent. Basically, you can increase your ease damage by eight percent. You also get ten stacks of um, covalence, which basically increases your off-field elemental skills by well. 2800 if you have siege read s65000 hp as i mentioned before because it has to be 1000 per 30,000 um max hp so you want to be one thousand it's basically a point for every a thousand above 30,000 so yeah um with a 80 for every a thousand so yeah uh, i know that sounds confusing but basically it means if you want to have the maximum 2800 you want to have 65,000 hp that's basically it and also, this, by the way, um, only happens after 18, or this effect lasts for 18 seconds after you use the rebound hydrotherapy, you get 10 stacks of your elemental skills. That means that if you use your elemental skill, it basically consumes a stack. That means characters like Farina, Fischl, who do multiple attacks on their elemental skill will burn through these stacks and you basically have to reapply it again. By the way, remember, remember, <laughs> Siege Wien's effect happens every, well, uh, time you basically get rid of your E. So that is basically takes a really, really long time, especially since the cooldown of her E, as I mentioned before, is 18 seconds with a nine second cooldown, especially since uh, you are going to be hitting this five times with a nine second cooldown. So you have to basically wait nine seconds to get your 10 stacks again, which is kind of bad. So yeah, there are other characters in the game who could literally give you free buffs without even doing anything really with no uh, cooldown downtime. Like, for instance, Ganyu, who can just use her Q, especially at C1. You could use your Q and you basically get a cryo damage bonus. So yeah, and it's 100% uptime. For Siege Wien, you have to use her E and then you get 9 second cooldown. So yeah, it's kind of bad. And of course, if you have characters that will basically burn through those elemental stacks, yeah, this is going to be really bad for you. So yeah, um, especially for Farina, Fischl, Yaimiko, basically characters who attack often. So yeah, um, that basically means that Siege Wien C0 sucks. Yeah, um, her other passive talent... Um, as you see here, basically increases healing. I already mentioned it before, but basically increases your value of Bond of Life, which basically increases up to 30% healing, which is pretty nice. Again, I will say it again. She is a great healer, not a great buffer though, um, and not a great Hydro Applicator. Her buff is pretty good, um, not gonna lie, if you have Constellations. Yeah, I will say that. I will say this. Siege Wien at C0 is kind of okay it's she's okay at c0 she is basically barbara tier yeah i'm not joking she's barbara tier if at c0 because all you're going to be using her for is healing yeah or the the buff doesn't really matter that much um if it does matter then she would be in sayu tier yeah she'll probably be in like sayu or uh, Sayu tier, like around there, really. But um, as of now, she's probably like Barbara tier at C0. So yeah. Um, but uh, speaking of constellations, her constellations, they are pretty good. So good, in fact, that if you do have C1 or C2, she basically she basically gets bumped up to Venti tier, or even more better, probably like around Chevrous tier. You'll see what I mean once I talk about the constellations. So her C1 just basically gives her three extra bounces on her E, which she so desperately needs. And also you get to increase the damage by 3,500, which is really, really good. It's really, really good. It basically changes the passives thing. Instead of 80, you get 100. And instead of, um, well, as you see here, 2,800, you get 3,000, which is really, really good. It basically means that you're able to um, get a 3,500 increase on your elemental skill damage and also you get three extra bounces on your E. Basically your E lasts way longer and also the cooldown of that will not be nine seconds. It'll probably be like around five which is really really good. So yeah. Um, it lasts a really long time basically and you get more 
damage on your elemental skill. Yeah, you see what I mean when I said that Siege Rain C0 is kind of bad? Because our constellations fix her. So yeah, which is pretty sad. So if you want to run vanilla um, or normal Siege Rain, you, you can't. You just can't. As C2, um, it's even more better. She gets a shield based off her max HP, 30% of her max HP when she uses E and Q. Basically, remember how when I used my E back then, she gets hit and basically she doesn't get interruption resistance? This gives her a shield, meaning that she's able to take a hit, at least one hit, uh, meaning that you're able to do a fully charged E instead of just tapping it, which is pretty nice. You also, after you hit someone with an E and Q, you decrease the Hydro Res by 35% for 8 seconds, which is really, really good. This combos well with other Hydro characters, such as Nuvalette, Farina, Shengcho, Yelon, and you already know, Hydro is a really, really good element. Probably one of the best elements in the entire game. And this just helps her way too much. It also benefits her too, because she's also a Hydro character. Yeah, you see what I mean by her constellations just make her good? Yeah, this should have been base kit, literally just base kit, but they didn't. They just uh, slapped it on her constellations, which is why uh, I always said that Siege Wayne is okay at C0, but at C1 and C2, if you have these both, she's probably around Venti tier. Venti or... or uh, if, even better, if you want to rank her even higher than that, you can just give her the Chevrus tier. Um, so yeah, um, as for C3, she's able to increase her ease um, level by 3, which is pretty nice. Her C4 just ex extends the burst by 3 seconds, which is pretty nice too. Um, it means that your burst will basically last a couple more hits, which is pretty nice. You're able to get more damage off of it. For her C5, she's able to increase her burst level by 3, which is pretty cool. And her C6 just makes her a uh, burst nuke with um, giving 20% crit rate and 110% crit damage if you have high max HP, which is pretty nice. Again, you need 65,000, but yeah. But that's basically it for Siege Rain. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> you, you, you see what I mean, right? I mean, you guys were kind of skeptical on to why I kind of changed my opinion on Siege Rain. Well, now you know why, because her kit is just really weird. It's like, why would you run Siege Rain? Well, you could just run characters like Kokomi. Yeah, Kokomi, who's like a hundred times better than Siegeween. So yeah, but with Constellation, she's actually pretty good. So yeah, well anyways, time to go over my overview and final thoughts on Siegeween. So yeah, um, as for my final thoughts on Siegeween, she is okay. Yeah, she's okay at C0. Um, she's probably like around Chi Chi or Barbara tier at C0, but... If you give her C1 and C2, she's probably like around Venti to Chevrus tier. Yeah, probably like in between there. So yeah, because um, C1, C2 just gives her all the stuff she needs. She needs shield, which basically um, gives her interruption resistance on her E. She needs damage, more, bo more damage bonuses on her elemental skill, which basically helps out with Fischl, uh, Yelon, Xingqiu. Um, basically any character um, but with the Hydro Res decrease as well. So yeah, Hydro Res decrease um, for those um, characters like Yelon, Xingqiu, and then elemental skill damage um, for characters like Nahida and Farina, which are really nice. And she also gets a lot of healing as well. Um, yeah, she desperately needs that. And also her E gets more consecutive attacks, meaning that she's able to get eight hits. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, C0, C2 doesn't get that. She just gets 5 attacks. Her um, damage bonus isn't really that high. And yeah, it's it's really okay. She's just okay. But with C1, C2, she just gets taken to the next level. So yeah, she's basically just locked. She's locked under constellations. Um, but, well, oh, well, uh, I guess we could just go back to the... Um, test run because well i forgot that test runs are domains and if you don't do anything in those domains you will get kicked out so yeah um might as well go back to siege win right now but um i was about to say <laughs> before i got interrupted by um the uh character uh will domain disconnect i will say that siege win 
um, my final thoughts on her and my final um, verdict. She needs help. Yeah, she needs help. Her kit is okay. As I said, she's probably like Barbara Chichi tier. But she can become good. And she can become really good. Um, yeah, you, you, if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. But if you don't, well, let me tell you a story of, well, at least a handful of characters that would, uh, that basically got buffed as the years go on. She just, she just needs help. Cedrin just needs help. So, there is Shinobu, Jean, Kokomi, and Baishu. What did those four have in common? They were okay on release. Yeah, they were okay on release. Baishu specifically was kind of good. Was actually kind of good because uh, Dendro is a really good team to have. But he wasn't really, like, top tier. Um, so, yeah. Um, but they are basically under the same boat. Um, those four characters. So, I'll just go over them by order. Shinobu. When she first released, she was pretty mediocre. Yeah, she's pretty mediocre. She didn't have the teams back then. No one used her. Um, her kit was pretty awkward to play. Until 3.0 released with Dendro Element. With the Dendro Element, Shinobu became one of the best sub DPSs in the entire game because of Dendro. Because her kit synergizes well with Dendro with her high EM. So yeah, uh, Shinobu became really good. Another example of that is Jean. Jean, on first release, because she's a vanilla character, was mediocre as well. People just ran Chi Chi as the better uh, healer. You can run D Luke as the better DPS. Yeah, Jean was just the middle of the road until they released Farina. For Farina, she drains HP off of party members. Jean can AoE heal. There are some characters in the game that can't even AoE heal, like Bennett. Bennett can only heal one character at a time. For Jean, that basically cements her as one of the best healers in the Farina team ever. She gets Animo support as well because of Viridescent set, if you run Jean with Viridescent. Yeah, you see what I mean? You know where I'm going with this, right? Basically, those characters got the help they deserved, and they became really good because of it. Baiju. Baiju was, well, still good um, during his release. But he got more elevated once Farina came in. Farina basically helped Baiju to new heights. Baiju is a AoE healer as well, so it helps out Farina. He is also a Dendro driver and a Dendro applicator, meaning that he's able to create blooms for the team for free. So yeah, it is really, really good. He became one of the best healers in the entire game because of it. So yeah, um, Baiju, really good. And last but not least, Kokomi. Kokomi was really bad in release, like always. Um, people thought that she was a pretty mediocre healer. She was nothing but a healer. Until 3.0, when they introduced Dendro. She became one of the best characters in the game for Dendro teams. Because she's able to heal off of the Dendro core damage. She's able to Hydro Applicate with her E, with her Jellyfish. And she also is a staple in pretty good teams, like the Freeze team with Shenhua. She's also a staple on um, really good teams like Hyper Bloom and Bloom. And also on the Lu Bloom team when that was still relevant. Yeah, you see what I mean? All those four characters had help. Siegewain needs help. Yeah, so if Natwin ever releases a pyro character that synergizes well with Siegewain and gives her, well, like a bajillion vape damage with elemental skill, or a pyro character that uses an elemental skill that combos well with Siegewain's kit, and I'm pretty sure Siege Wind will probably be, be really good. But as of right now, and as of the game's uh, current standing, she is just okay at best. The only way to fix her is to get her constellations. So yeah, that is my opinion on her. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that Siege Wind test run video. I know I did ramble on a long or a while, but that's because my opinion has changed on Siege Rain, um, as you, as I said before. So yeah, I had to talk about um, Siege Rain's impact in the game and why it's important to uh, talk about, well, characters in general. So yeah. Well, anyways, if you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell um, to not miss out on a single upload that I do. Again, thank you guys so much if you are um, liking and subscribing. That really helps a lot. Um, for the channel because I am a pretty small channel so yeah um, without you guys without you guys liking and subscribing and commenting and also supporting me I wouldn't be here so again thank you guys so much on the bottom of my heart it really means a lot that you guys love my content so yeah 
And also, comment down below. What do you think of Siege Win? You think she's good? You think she's bad? Do you agree with my opinions? Do you not agree? What are your opinions on Siege Win? You think that she needs improvement? You think she doesn't? Um... You think that Nat one will probably buffer, or you think she's good as she is? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching this test run video, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin video.